for breakfast this week and once again having my sausage, egg, and cheese. Sunday lunch is going to be real good, y'all. I got these cheese enchiladas. They're pretty okay. Well, they're free, so they taste better that way. I'm still debating whether or not I want to spend money on them next time. But these were fabulous when they're free. And I got a little cup of the smashed avocado and a handful of tomatoes to go along with it and some chicharrones. They taste real good. They taste real good. Get it? So obviously I was meant to have a good day today. So we're here at Good Company Cantina and Kitchen. We just ordered a plate of their queso. It comes with standard chips, but we have some chicharrones on the way. I'm hoping y'all can still hear these chicharrones popping. They just pulled them out of the fryer. And I confused them when I told them we didn't want the chips, but please leave the salsa. It all came together whenever they knew we wanted the chicharrones. All right, here's what we got, folks. We got a pound of beef fajitas and jalapeno sausage. And instead of doing the rice and beans and tortillas, they give you or allow us to get a side salad. Oh yeah, and here's all the little fixings. So it's cheese, sour cream, jalapenos, and a little bit of guac. This is a good feast. Monday morning breakfast, and I'm back at it again with my sausage, egg, and cheese. Monday lunch, and I just got a plate of dirty eggs. I cooked up some of our homemade breakfast sausages and all the leftovers from Gringo's dinner the other night. Monday lunch, and I got a plate of dirty eggs. I just mixed up some of our homemade breakfast sausages, four eggs, and all the leftovers from Good Company the other night. The queso and the, um, the vegetables from the fajitas. And I'm fixing to top it with a little smashed avocado. Monday night dinner. I got a piece of chicken breast, oven baked, and I dusted it with the Tony Chacheries. A slice of cheddar cheese, some red onions, tomatoes, and I got a little bit of buffalo sauce for a dip. Tuesday breakfast, I'm having my sausage, egg, and cheese. Tuesday lunch, and I got another chef salad. I'm finishing off that head of lettuce. This is going to be perfect. Wednesday night dinner, I got a quasi-Italian-American deal. I got a couple of chicken sausages stuffed with... Um, Mozzarella cheese. I don't know why I can't think straight. And then we topped it with a little marinara sauce. And we got a video coming out on how we did this also. And then on the side here, I got a couple of, I'm calling them Italian mushrooms. Again, stuffed with the mozzarella and topped with the marinara as well. It's pretty tasty, y'all. I'm going to stop recording and finish this plate. Wednesday morning breakfast, I'm back at it again with my sausage, eggs, and cheese. Wednesday lunch, and I got some Instant Pot pulled pork tacos, topped with a little bit of that Gringo's Bar Salsa. Hi everybody, <laughs> it's your favorite moderator, <laughs> and I am in the... Parker Palace Kitchen making guacamole. Yeah, look, we immediately put her to work. She just she just got here ten minutes ago and we're like, okay, you gotta work. <laughs> yeah. Got to say hi to my pups. Mm -hmm. We went to sprouts. I'm trying to Oh, you can't see it. I'm trying to Dr. Pepper Zero strawberry cream. Whoops. Right. It's good. Yeah, you like it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yum. And look, somebody's excited. Delilah. Hi, baby. Hi, 
Sam goes, wait, wait, now she's getting food out. Yeah. Is it for me? She said, she said the other dog's name. Sam says, oh, she said Delilah. What am I missing? <laughs> Your person. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Yes. yes. <laughs> so. Wednesday night dinner, and I got some tacos topped with that gringo's spicy bar salsa. Look who's here! Hi! I'm finally having real Texas meat. It's so good. <laughs> Yo. Okay, I'm gonna go eat now. Thursday morning breakfast. I'm having some uh, homemade breakfast sausages. Hard-boiled eggs topped with the love chamoy and a couple of mozzarella cheese sticks. Freak crew shenanigans day Thursday. And I, uh, he made some pulled pork. So I have pulled pork here with some barbecue sauce. Our barbecue sauce. And then some uh, kimchi, some guac that Shauna made, some sour cream, some cheese. And then we got here, Shauna is starting on the fudge. Look, she's getting it all together. She's making keto chow fudge. Oh, I gotta get my apron. Yes, you do. So, yes, we are busy, busy. And then he just put on the eggs, a half of the eggs. And then we got Sharon over here. Just cleaning away. <laughs> I'm on this duty. Right? The volunteer. We didn't make her do it. Yeah. I don't want rumors getting started about how we're slave drivers. <laughs> and then I also got, a, or they got me a coffee today because I'm at work. They went to H-E-B to the uh, one here in Spring that has a coffee shop. And so got me a nice cup of coffee. So we're, we're good. They're working. I'm on lunch, and then we will oh, no. keep working. Oh, no. Thursday lunch, and I'm having some pulled pork in a bowl. And check out these new placemats. Miss Sharon got us, y'all. These are amazing. Well, it is Thursday night, and we're having some pre-crew shenanigans. There's Heath. And the cool kids. And then, okay. yes, Nicole with Cool Thank Kid Keto. Hans just left. He'll be back. And then let me turn this around. And then over here, we got Sharon and Shauna. Happy Juice. Happy Juice. <laughs> And, and we're sharing the table with Levi. Woo! <laughs> the, the, the science guy. I love That's that. Awesome. That's awesome. And that is Nicole and Hans, uh, the youngest one, right? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So. Right. So we're having fun, y'all. We are having lunch today at the yes. Crafty Crab. And go ahead, you're fine. Okay. And we've got a whole bunch of people with us. We have here, look, they even put together a nice table. We got Nanette, uh, Lynette back there, and she drove a whole bunch. And here we've got Patty and her husband Chris. We got Lori. We got Shauna and Sharon. And then we've got Sarah. Mary T. And then we got Renee. And Lynette, who has been amazing. Woo! And then look who's at the head of the table here. I think that's Heath. And then afterwards, we went to this place called Crave Cupcakes. And we got, they call it the 007. It's a seven carb uh, cupcake that is keto and they do use almond flour. So he did get that. But yes, that's what we got. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, show. We'll show y'all what it looks like, y'all. 
That's a 007? Look, yes. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. to risk it. But yes, that's what we're having for dessert. And we're all about to order some seafood boils at the restaurant. Our food is coming. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna get us confused because she didn't like lemon pepper. Ooh, everybody's getting their food, y'all. Yes, give me one. All right, we're gonna open it. Ow. You undo the top knot and how they show, then you go from this and just slowly squeeze all of that good seasoning. Job, uh, oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. Saucing. Right? Nice. Okay, so that's how it's done. And then they give you a bucket put all your trash in. A what? A bucket. Oh, bucket. <laughs> it's not after dark. All right, here's one more. Here's the big lobster. That's a little messy. A little, right? Well, that's why they give you gloves. Those are wipes. Those are gloves. Yes, yes. ma'am. Oh, that's cool. Where are the nice? The gloves are underneath the, the bubble. Lift gloves. the bubble up. The one that looks like a wet nap package is actually gloves. Oh. All right. There we go. There's your lobster. Oh, there's the sausage. Wait, we don't have civil work. Oh, we just use our hands. That's all right. Sunday morning breakfast as we're getting ready to leave to go meet the cruise ship. I got some hard-boiled eggs topped with some raspberry chipotle sauce. Hey yo, welcome to the wonderful world of Hungry Eat. I'm not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I've studied under several television chefs, I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my chauffeur, the warden, Shelly Heat Steak. Together we also like to call the Friday Night Feast. Now this happens every Friday night, 6.30 Central. We'll cook an entree, maybe a couple little uh, snacks, show y'all how to do it, and we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. Like one of our favorite members, Air Fry and Auntie. The best moderator. Yes. Thank you so much for all that you do, Shauna. You are amazing. I love it. Y'all, obviously you can tell we're in the car and we have a passenger with us. And y'all, you're with us. You're coming along. Another ride along. Right now we are we we just left the house. We're headed to Dutch Bros to get our their coffee and my uh, rain bro. Bro. <laughs> And then we're heading to meet the rest of the uh, low carb cruisers at the hotel. And then we're gonna load up on the vans and head for Galveston so we can jump on the ship. We're gonna jump on the ship? Yeah. I didn't know I had can to I jump. Jump for joy. Ramp instead. I got short legs. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a small jump. I'll land in the, the small little thing in between the ship and the dock. Oh no, we don't wanna go for a swim. No. There was enough water last night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. We got. We are so lucky. Friday was whenever we did our huge supporter uh, thank you barbecue meetup appreciation extravaganza, and luckily it did not rain on us because we had everything set up outside. I barbecued and all, but so we missed the rain for that. But it held off until last night. Work up, woke 
poor Shauna of, I think Shelly too. That's how she found out. I, I slept right through it. Oh, I'm right. I was already awake. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's what nice. I was hearing. <laughs> but if, uh, what was good though is we already had put a lot of the like heat's uh, computer desk. We already put it up and several of like the chairs that have fabric and stuff. We moved all of those in indoors last night just because we were like oh we're gonna be gone for a week so let's just move move all the stuff that normally isn't outside back back where they should go and then yeah like at 2 a.m all of a sudden i heard this boom 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 yeah and rain and everything and i was like oh well that that worked out pretty well other than now our backyard's a lake again right oh that that moved oh what is no it? the camera oh no oh. <laughs> and where's the thing? I don't know. Technical difficulties. <laughs> right? Uh. All right. Uh. This is not fun. I don't like this anymore. Uh. I feel like the fix to get a, a, oh. a awesome up my nose view, and I don't want to do that to these folks. Nobody needed that. <laughs> I don't know. That so, one guy said he loves it. Last night was a pre cruise dinner. We got a little bit of camera on nope. that. Oh. Which uh, you should be seeing uh, before nope, this. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Y'all, I'm hoping oh, that's too big. Too Jeez, big. Louise. And, um, but we didn't get to film too much only because um, they had the tight jeans, like a musical trio, and because they were singing songs that would be considered copyrighted, then we couldn't really film a little more over towards you. We couldn't really film um, better because better. then it would be copyrighted material. So we we just I took a few pictures, and but it was great meeting a whole lot of um, new faces to us. I mean we we've seen names before, but. You know, never put a face to the name. So that was awesome. And it was just really good. And we were there like super late. Yeah, just... they they uh, basically ran us off the event uh, facility. Yeah. So His name is Mikey. I was ready to go. <laughs> what? I somehow am still running on California time. Poor thing. She's been here since Wednesday and she's still jet lagged. On California time. I'm waking up on my normal California time, but I'm two hours earlier. Right. So my 6 a.m. wake ups have been oh, fun. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still, it's going to rain today too. Yeah, it's supposed Fantastic. to. But yeah, so we're going to head to Dutch Bros, get us some good coffee. Um, I might even get a double shot in mine. I was just thinking the same thing. I think it's a double ad shot today. <laughs> I did too. Why not a triple? Uh, She's well, all, don't tempt me. We could do a 911. That's got six. I think six. I'd be afraid if I got Take it. Take the next left. I'm trying to do that to my tummy when I'm traveling. But, but yeah. Wake yeah. up. You're driving. Oh my gosh. And then... We'll be at the place. I'm so excited. Well, how about we're pulling the Dutch now, and then we'll wake it back up when uh, we'll we'll get y'all's order. Let us know what you want. We'll put in the order, and then um, we'll show you what we got. Your destination is on the left. Waiting on you, dear. Let me see. I gotta get it in frame. We got the Dutch. Somebody's really. I told you. Keto Kano. Keto Kano, yeah. yeah. I got mine, and the girl at Dutch Bros named it. It's an Americano with. I brought butter in my mug. An Americano with six shots and sugar free white chocolate macadamia. And she said, we'll call it a Keto Kano. Mm -hmm. Well, she was really cool. We had asked her. She, uh, she actually rolled down her window and said, hey, ma'am. Um, do you mind pouring it in my mug for me, please? She looked at it and saw the butter. She goes, oh, you're keto, huh? <laughs> Once again, I'm known as the lady who likes butter coffee. That's awesome. Right? And I, it's delicious for all you doubters out there. It's not greasy. It's yummy and butter is good for you. That's 
That's right. And no carbs and butter. That's right. I got a sugar-free annihilator and a total of six shots in it. Because <coughs> I was like, um, it was just hard to go to sleep last night. I was so excited. I just kept thinking about how much fun I've had the last few days. And yes. so many people were meeting. And it's like we had two pre-parties. I Right. I came in Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. First thing we did was drive all over to Sprouts. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you said it was 20 minutes to your house. We were, oh yeah, Sprouts everywhere. And then well, the because day, somebody wanted I to buy chocolate for all of y'all that came on Friday night, she made the fudge. Yes. So we had to I buy did, supplies for that. I did need the lilies from, from Sprouts to make my... Um, Keto Chow Fudge, and if anybody would like it, the recipe is on the Keto Chow site. It says banana white chocolate fudge with sprinkles. You can insert any kind of Keto Chow that you like, and any kind of the whatever sugar-free um, chocolate chips you like. I personally do better with lilies than any of the others, and if you run into anybody who was at our Friday night meetup, they'll tell you. Money. Money. If people kept going back, they were like, I shouldn't, but I can't stop. <laughs> I saw a couple people who never eat sweets eat a piece of my fudge. I'm looking at you, Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> Call me no. out. And then Thursday night, we had fun chilling yes. with the cool kids. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and then Friday, um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank every single one of you. Even though we cooked and opened our home, I really felt like it took a community to yes. pull off our barbecue meetup. So it wasn't oh just goodness. us, it was all of you rallying behind us and helping us put this together. Yes. So thank you all so very much because I know I like I'm wearing my sunglasses. we I'm could not have done it without all of y'all. Yes. I would like to give, even though I didn't personally need a ride, there's a lady named Lynette that her tag said Lynette, taxi driver, came in from an hour away, met people at KetoCon, he did jelly. Yes, this she was amazing. This woman, so selflessly, just an amazing lady, drove people back and forth to, to Shelley's, to their hotel, brought people out when we went Saturday to the farmer's market, and then drove them to where we had lunch. And Drove all the way out to Hobby Airport. Airport and picked them up and brought them out here. That's right. She went and picked it with a Joe and Rachel. Was yes. it Joe and Rachel? Yes, yeah. yeah, so there's another couple also. People Joe and Rachel and another couple also. If you happen to see Lynette in the hotel or online or any of the groups, just send her a great big hug. She is like the sweetest person. Yes. Sweetest person. And just did it out of the goodness of her own heart. Her vacation was to come and serve. Right. I know. Just like Sharon's. Right. Sharon did yeah. this. Uh, well, not the same thing, but Sharon came out Thursday. And basically, just from the moment out with she us. entered the house, she just started working. She took over my kitchen. Yeah, and every time we'd be like, oh, we'll do this. No, she's like, no, get out. <laughs> she ran me out of the kitchen and told me I had other things to do. <laughs> she A couple of times, I'm going to just go sit down. I know. So, thank There's you. There's not many people stronger than me. <laughs> but that Sharon is exactly what you think of when you hear the word tiny but powerful. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely is. So, that was awesome. And she thank saved you, a you, lot of times. <laughs> Oh, are you crying? No, you're crying. I'm not crying. She, a lot of times, you know, if you've ever cooked any length of time, you know that it's hardly ever do you have smooth sailing. You're always going to have uh, a hiccup, a hiccup, an emergency, and she just did awesome handling those uh, when it was like, oh my gosh, we're going to lose all of this food, and then she's like, okay, but come on, we got it. We're going to save it. So that was just amazing, and just I'm just so happy, and it was great. And I absolutely had so much fun at the barbecue meetup. And honestly, I mean I'm excited for the cruise too because it's a cruise. But I was so looking forward to 
months now of just the barbecue meetup. Because honestly, y'all, once they announced that this sailing is leaving Galveston, we said no doubt about it. We were going to host a meetup beforehand. And I booked a room yeah. <laughs> at the Parker Palace. Yes. <laughs> and it, it was so much fun planning all of it. Yes. So much fun just, and then experiencing it like it, when everybody, you know, you, you just, I was nervous. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, we forgot who else came out to see us. Oh? Yeah, your number one fan. That's right. Yes, yeah, she did. I finally got to meet Renee. Yes, yes. Renee came up Friday just for the barbecue feast and yes. hang out. It, so she took time away from her hectic life yes. of, with the house hunting and everything. And she just drove up here with the beach house and she was awesome. And I know everybody enjoyed actually meeting the, the woman of many names. <laughs> and that was awesome too. We love you, Renee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. For coming. You. I know a lot of people were excited to actually meet you in person and find out if your name really is Renee. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, it was just so awesome. I just had so much fun on that Friday night. And then y'all, Saturday night when we got to the hotel for the, the official pre-cruise uh, dinner, so many of the people walked up to me and started telling me, especially the ones that weren't able to come out to our meetup, all the glory stories about how good it was. It just floored me how many people were just astonished and, 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 and thrilled Appar with it. Apparently people that went to the barbecue meetup were bragging to other people at the hotel and I was like wow like that's yeah. that's something if you're gonna talk about it to other people after the fact I was like oh my gosh we even had one viewer tell us that they went to truth barbecue on Saturday and said that our barbecue was actually better I, I, I just I was like what really because they're consistently ranked in the top 10 I, yeah I, um, I'm sure the atmosphere and yeah, the maybe that what it was. helped yeah. uh, quite a bit. But it, it was just so awesome getting to do the barbecue meetup. I'm glad that we had that opportunity. We had the nerve to even do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was really and excited. See you all again next week. <laughs> yeah, really. I was, well, you kind of will. It'll still <laughs> right? be Friday on the cruise. Right. Um, but I was really excited. Shelly started slicing that first brisket was ready and I wandered through and she gave me my first taste of authentic, decent, decent. Texas <laughs> brisket. Because brisket in California is not the same. In fact, it, they call it tri-tip. <laughs> and oh man, I, I told her last night I think she ruined me for all other meats. Wow. <laughs> Because it was so melt in your mouth good. Uh, I can't imagine having anything better. I feel like that first brisket, which a lot of people didn't even get to try, but the very first brisket, we did three. It was absolutely perfect. When I sliced, like just when I sliced it, the juices, after resting for like 10 hours, the juices in this thing, it was just amazing. Like, mouth watery just slicing and seeing that juice oh my gosh and then so well, I was like well we're everybody who was at the house I just started slicing bites and people had come by and then they were like okay I need another one uh, oh whoop, I need another bite <laughs> you know what else I had a few of what? kept feeding up to me jalapeno poppers that's right I'm so proud of you and too. I didn't even cry <laughs> Oh, that's she right. she does not like heat. I'm working on my spice tolerance, little uh, by little. And you did so well. And I tried a lot of different things, too. I actually had yes. my first scallop when we went to the Crafty Crab. Yeah. And then didn't you try the raspberry chipotle sauce? Yes, I did. I tried raspberry chipotle sauce, too. And it wasn't even it didn't that work. hot. I know. It's not at all. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I had some more this, uh, this morning. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, you just do this. But, um, what else?
else? Oh, so we went to the Crafty Crab on Saturday. Yeah. And um, both my roommate Sarah McCoy and I asked for just butter and garlic and no extra spices on our, I think I, what I got was the half a pound each of the snow crab and shrimp. Somebody decided that I needed to be a Cajun. Nah. Ten foot. It was probably the mild, but it was a little spicy. I I honestly feel like I think they gave us all the same thing. I did so, too. I think, I think they, they were just, just like, oh, everybody's gonna get Cajun. Yeah. Uh, because even ours wasn't that spicy. Mm -hmm. I didn't think. Yeah. But then when we got the um, scallops later, we ordered the scallops after we saw everybody else's. Then I said, oh, I wanted the firebomb. That actually had a little kick. And I was yeah. like, okay, this other didn't have the kick. I think they just did Cajun for all. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, you know what? I didn't. These really people only get that. Cajun. Huh? See my little hands? They give me those flimsy uh, <laughs> kitchen uh, cast, uh, high school cafeteria Clutch lady worker gloves. They're like three inches longer than my hands. I had on two bibs. Sharon, bless her heart. Sharon? Yeah. Sharon. Was it Sharon or was it Sarah? Somebody opened all my crap for me. Uh, oh, it was Sharon. Might have been Sarah because yeah. Sharon was all the way down to my end by me. No, no, no it was Sharon. Okay, it was she helped it me open my crap because I oh, was yeah. getting little tiny pieces and I asked, Are you sure there's crap in the <laughs> I've only had crab a couple of times, like straight out oh. of the crab legs. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. And it was our sweet little Lynette, Lanette, mm -hmm. who gave me a scallop to try. Oh, that's nice. And it was good. Now, everybody was saying they were steamed, and usually you have them sauteed. sauteed. But, I mean, after a while, I think it all started tasting the same. It all tasted Cajun. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the only but, thing, because I was like, that all looks Cajun, but... That was disappointed. I would say that if you ever visit Houston, I wouldn't put that on my top ten visit. restaurants to visit. No. Uh, I mean, it was okay for lunch, but again, I feel like the service was lacking, and I feel like the uh, attention to detail like that, yes. like they they yeah. didn't follow through. And ours, I think, because they were doing so many, yeah. our shrimp and, and lobster and all that were was slightly overcooked. Yes. That I wouldn't know. Right. Yeah. Well, the one thing was it was hard to peel. Yeah. Oh, okay. And usually, if it's sign. if it's cooked really well, the peel the the shell should just come right off. Right, right. But it's these right. were wanting to stick. Yeah. But anyways, it it, it was great First just being with everybody, and that was awesome. The company and, was amazing. Yeah. Yes. And getting to go to the farmers market beforehand, I think everybody had a good time there. Trying uh, cop a local roaster, yes, and getting some nice nitro and um. So yeah, we had great fun, and then we're almost at the hotel, y'all. Nice. And uh, so all right, that's a good thought, a good spot for us to stop. I'm gonna get some stuff out of the truck, car and we'll catch up uh, once we're on the bus. Yay! All right, y'all. Time to load the buses. Look, they're here. Ready to get on the bus with us. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Let's go. Let me get up close and me. There we go. Up close and me. All right. We're past security. We're in the terminal. Come on with us. Turn around this way. Oh, okay. Boarding the ship. Come along with us. Carry your luggage. And we're going through the terminal. About to get onto the ship. We do have to make a pit stop. Come with us. We need, It's time for a potty break after that hour, 15 minute drive. All right, you've been checked in. They scan your C-Pass 
And now we're walking through the terminal. And then we're gonna go on that thing to cross over into the ship. Oh, and here's where you get your photos made. Nah. Woohoo! Well, Shauna and, and Sarah are. Well, no, but we could you could still get it done for free, just for fun. Let's get our photo. Let's all get in it together. Welcome aboard, y'all. Let's go. Welcome aboard, guys. Woo! Here we go. Boarding on with us. Come on, you guys. Let's hurry. Woo! Here we go. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. It's real life walking. Ooh, it's warm. And look, we're officially on the ship. Woo! We're on the ship! Yay! We're gonna wait for Shauna. Yeah. There's he. Tell everyone hi. Say hi. Hi. Alrighty, folks. We just got to our room. Let's go in and see where the magic happens. No, we'll go back to that later. <laughs> Here's our bed and our couch. But while I'm filming this, I gotta lose this backpack. It's a little heavy. I'm tired of calling it around. And then we have this full height window in here, or large window anyways. And the area is big enough that we can just open up our bags and leave them out the whole cruise. I mean, we could technically set up a table in here but i don't know where we would get it <laughs> then our tv i need to turn that off there's power our clock our desk a little table and this is a little small area for i don't know what we'd put in there it's awful awful tiny and there's our Closet. Let's see what's inside. And look, oh, look who came to visit us. Why don't you come in here, pretty lady? Oh, am I allowed? I don't know if I should go into a stranger's room. It's mandatory that you join us. Ooh. Come show them what's in the closet. The closet? I still this in the vacuum. Do you want me to vacuum in? Nah, nah it looks no. good. Thank you, sir. I think we'll survive. I just want to show them how. Is... Yeah, it should be a closet, right? Slide, yeah. Woo! There's the safe, and I don't see any uh, curtain. Curtain rod. I mean, um. It's over on this side. Uh, what do you call it? Um, I'll show you some curtains. There they are. Look, two layers. That's awesome. This is nice. So she brought her bags in with us too, and I got the other one. Where is it? The, the little short one. Oh, it's still out there. Okay, so we'll go grab it for somebody else. Does. Did you do the bathroom? I showed them a peek. They don't need to see all of it. Here, why don't oh, you take wow. over and show them all of it. Oh. While I start getting the luggage undone. The master switch. All right, oh. All right, first things first. All the way cold. We oh, got our wow. hooks up here. What? When you're done, show them that. I got an idea over here. This is awesome, I've never seen this before on a cruise ship. Oh. The three port power supply. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh look at me. So nice oh, we got some salt and breeze. Oh, nice little cubby hole. That's nice. Let's see how the shower works. Uh oh, oh, for a second, y'all, I thought, oh, is that all we have to get through? But no, it opens all the way. Whew, that had me worried. Oh, we got our little 
shave and step. Oh, nice. Definitely need that. Because sometimes we would pack a step stool, like a little plastic one, to put in the showers. Because I don't know if anybody else, like I need, I need to be able to put my foot up when I shower. <laughs> Especially this little tiny shower. This might be, I don't know Heath, this might be smaller than the, uh, when we did the Panama Canal. Right? Well, there we are. There I am. Right? But yes. So let's see. Ooh. We got little cubby holes here. That's nice because, you know, there's usually not a lot of uh, storage, so any little space you could get is helpful. I'm coming. On the drawers here, I'm seeing if I can sit in this desk and see if it'll fit me. You have a and blow dryer? Oh, blow dryer? And um, tissue. Yeah. And we always take the tissue. And just, you know, storage here. And this should be the fridge. Yep. Oh, and look, oh, it's, built it's in. made to the door. Oh, Usually that's good. Usually they're two separate. That's yeah. Kind of cool. Oh, there's the trash can. Can kick this shut? Oh, I gotta kick this. it. This is awesome. I've never seen this before. It's three port uh, charge uh, plug station. I've never oh, seen it before. Good. I don't know what these. Because but oh, usually. Oh, that's European. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. And then but here's the clock. I don't see any USBs though. That's one. But thing. look, this is a charging for your phone here. But I think that's for Apple. Yeah. Uh, that won't fit mine. Uh. -uh. But, but that's still cool though. Yeah. And this is just a list of different activities. Yeah, so every day they will give you all kinds of deals, quote unquote, that you could get. And wow. And that and then nice little couch. But I don't see where we're gonna which side you wanna put your machine on and where we're gonna plug it in. It's the only thing. Okay, right, we'll see. we'll figure that out. I'm ready. Let's take a nap. All right. <laughs> Time to go explore the ship. Come along with us. We're actually going to go down and get Heath's drink. And oh, then we'll, yeah, his mug and a drink, and then we'll be on our way. I think anywhere. Here we are. We're walking down the promenade. For your coffee lovers, there's Starbucks. Well, we might have to cut out some of this because of the music. But we'll go get drinks. Woohoo! We're all on the ship, y'all. What do you think? Last year, Rhonda and I were running into Woo! Natalie and. There we go. What's our guest? Woo! Nine. There's Sorrentos. That's the pizza place. We're going to go up to the solarium. Let's go with us. We are in the solarium area. It's so beautiful. So this is 16 and up. And they have a buffet similar to the Windjammer, but it's smaller because it gets just to be for adults. So I'll show you what they have. Come along. Got some salad here, our mixed greens, dressing. Topping, and then here we're looking at the meats down here. So we've got some barbecue roasted chicken, pork schnitzel, gravy, potatoes, rice, uh, and then I see down there is a carving station. I think I'm going to try a little bit of this barbecue chicken. beef stew, and down there is some beef curry. And here we've got our cold cuts, some pickled, and cheese. The butter is over by the bread. Just grab the butter. This is my plate, y'all. I've got that pork tenderloin. I put some pesto. A whole bunch of olives. You gotta still get that fat in. Uh, pepperoncinis, some cheese, some salami. I got a little bit of that beef curry and that barbecue chicken. And then to increase my fats, I've got the, the butter. Oh, and it's salted. 
Look at cute little windmills. So yeah, that's that's how you do it, y'all. This can be so good, and it's nice because in here it's air conditioned, and we're like right by vent, so it's nice and cool. We got waters, and then after you go through all of the line over here is your drink. So you got water. Um, I don't know if they have juices set up. And then over there is coffee. So the coffee and water are 100% included. I think at breakfast you get juices. And you just do it yourself. They also have some hot tea selections. Of course, you can make the hot tea and then just pour it over ice. And have your iced tea that away. But yeah, great option. So my tip is, it opens a little later, but the solarium, if you have everyone in your group is over 16, I highly recommend it. It's quieter than the Windjammer, not as crowded, and then yes, there's it's supposed to be you know adults only, 16 plus only. So it's just a, a more laid back experience, especially the first day, because the very first day everybody runs to the Windjammer and it's just hectic and it's loud and here it's nice and quiet and like outside where you could hear the water it's just a nice area and this solarium on this ship um, is where they hold the samba the brazilian restaurants at night so again it's so it's a nice warm welcoming area so highly recommend that's my tip when i go cruising is the first day go to the solarium instead of the main windjammer just for that um and I, I mean the food's good and the lines aren't as long so you get through quicker again just overall i, I enjoy the experience um so i hope you're enjoying coming along with us tagging along as we eat our foods and explore the ship hopefully after this our room will be open we go drop our luggage so in the meantime um, typically before 1 p.m., if you bring any luggage, you kind of have to lug it with you. So just kind of be selective with your carry-ons. Um, just kind of realize if you're boarding the ship before 1, you might have to carry those bags along with you and backpacks and so forth until the staterooms open at 1 and then you go drop everything off. That's typically what we do is um, try to limit the carry-on and then after we eat lunch, then typically the state rooms are open or I'll sneak in there and then drop all that off and then we just go explore it. So we will do that with you soon. Here we are at the hot dog place and they've got several different hot dogs. <laughs> This is all complimentary. Y'all, so we have the Sicilian pork and the smoked bratwurst. And I got lots of mustard. Real easy. No hesitation. I just said no bun. And he just threw the dogs in there. And again, this is all complimentary. Here is Heath trying the smoked. What? I'll tell you to go first. Well, I already got it on you, so you're going first. Smoke bratwurst. I'll see the smoker on the deck. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I go back with a little mustard. That tastes to me just like a regular hot dog. But I told her the bratwurst, so I wonder how that's different from the classic hot dog. Let's see what this Sicilian. This one's covered in mustard. What do you think? Almost has like a bologna taste to it. Here's the Sicilian. It tastes amazing for being free. Yeah, for a complimentary, so a good place to go for lunch. Um, 
or something. I do think I like this other one better. Again, this is the... It's, I told them bratwurst, but it seems to me like this tastes like a classic. So nice little um, area here. And then look, aren't those cute, those wooden horses? Because we're right near the carousel. Nice. First course for first dinner in the main dining room, day one. When I'm starting off with the escargot. Y'all, this is the best dish here. Round two is shrimp cocktail. And I saved all the butter from the escargot so I could dip the shrimp in it. I also got the escargot mainly for the garlic butter so I could have it for my steak. And then I also got a Caesar salad. And it looks really good, minus the croutons. Very tasty. Alrighty, folks, I'm sorry. I got so excited. Alrighty, folks, I messed up and I was too eager to jump into my plate. I had the prime rib and a New York strip and I started eating before I realized that I didn't record for y'all. But this was pretty good. I'm gonna turn this off and finish eating it all. So for dessert, we ordered the cheese plate. So it came with some grapes. You can put that over there. Some celery. Two different types of wedge cheeses. This is like a round herb cheese. There's some nuts here. And I think this is some kind of chutney. But that's dessert. And then we got our coffee coming and lots of cream. And there's mine. Here's this is mine actually. That's heat. And that's it. That's how you do it, y'all. Happy morning, y'all. So we are eating breakfast in the wind jammer. We were going to get up and go to Johnny Rockets, but we slept so hard last night. Um, so we made it to the wind jammer. And what I've got here is some bacon, some ham off the bone like they carve it for you, a cheese omelet, some scrambled eggs, butter, cheese, um, salsa, pork sausage, a little roasted tomato, and more cheese. And then I've got my coffee. And with that, I brought, these are those coffee bombs. And this is the vanilla cinnamon, and it's unsweetened. Good morning, y'all. I finally slept, and we just kept sleeping. <laughs> so I've got my coffee. That's good, that little F uh, coffee bomb. I said F bomb, but it's a coffee bomb. I can really get the cinnamon out of there, so that's really nice. And we're just here in the wind jammer. And uh, the ham is really good. The scrambled eggs are really good. They're really creamy. Um, and then the other thing they I did find, because they try to um, have a variety for all different cultures, I found some pickled ginger. So hey, I keep having my pickled ginger, which is good. Um, they had, all I saw for yogurt was a non-fat yogurt. I was like, why well, non-fat? Um, but it was plain. So yeah, that was pretty good. So. I know we missed the morning routine at, um, today's the first day of the conference and I know we missed all the morning stuff. We had our own. <laughs> yeah, we were conferencing in our sleep. Um, that's okay. We'll go by there. That's the thing with this. You can come and go as you want. And, you know, I saw some other people were going to go play bingo and different things. So don't feel like on the cruise, oh, you have to do the whole, you know, Seminar. You could do none of it if you wanted to. Just be on the cruise and um, hang out with people in between. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to probably go this afternoon to a couple of the speakers. But other than that, um, I think then we'll probably go back and keep my edits a video yes. to get that release to y'all. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's our day. And as you can tell, it's pretty loud in here, right? Um, but really nice. So far, it's a nice sized ship, and you know it's pretty big, but it's not difficult to get around. So we're having a great time. It was really nice to get some rest. I think it was about midnight when we finally went to bed. So to sleep until nine, I really needed it, y'all, a hundred percent. And then tomorrow we're going to be in Roton.